Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. Today's read is going to be about what important messages and blessings are on the way. I feel like everybody is really glowing, growing with some higher knowing. They are getting plugged into what is essential for their growth to making them kind of feel cleansed, lighter, clearer in their journey. It's oftentimes I feel Usually it's upon waking. I know I get this feeling. Sometimes we feel like a little cloudy or convoluted or things try to come through the door before we're ready to contemplate them, right? It's it's a barrage of questions and tasks and things that sometimes we bring upon ourselves and we don't need to do this. I feel that really in life when we just address one issue at a time, one opportunity at a time, things kind of fall into place much more um, chill. We're not like, it's not like a rain shower of to-dos. I feel like it's really important at this time that we realize, you know, we get to choose our moods. I was watching Jim Carrey last night on this speech and I loved it so much because it was so simple. And I mean, he is really entering like guru stage of higher intelligence and knowing because he really has it. He says, you know, he just woke up one morning and he realized that, you know, yeah, bad experiences are going to pop up here and there, inconveniences. And that's a lot that we have to notice too, that things are inconveniences. They're not tragedies. And it's how we address us or if we choose to suffer because of it. Do we want to feel sorry for ourselves and get immersed in that? Or do we just want to jump out of that and go, okay, that was an issue. It's now resolved now for bigger and better things. And you're opening that door, you know, to all the ama amazing truths and gifts and all these things that are, that are surfacing for us every minute, every day and knowing, you know, the best is right around the corner um, in preparation for it. All we have to do is keep our eyes open, right? It's this beautiful shift. So we have three choices today. Number one, we have treasure. Number two, we have alchemy. And number three, we have Lady Spring. And if you're also interested in the numbers, we have 46, 50, and 55. And I'm going to give you a moment to choose. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. If you guys want to get your coffee or tea, get cozy, relax, and hear some really beautiful messages. I already hear them coming in. I like how the egg corn reflects things. You see my coffee mug like moving in it. It's so cool. I remember one time I was setting up for a read and I had a highly reflective service and I look crazy. I had this head wrap on. I had a whole bunch of stuff going on, probably like a face pack or something. And I was like, oh, if, honey, if that shows up on camera, <laughs> a delete. It's so funny. So we are going to begin with treasure. So just remember too, right now I'm hearing right away. You know, this is a time for positive momentum because you're going to come out of a period of restriction because you didn't know what you know now, which is you are limitless. You don't have any kind of parameters you have to operate in when you know that all, all choices are open to you. You have options. If you feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, move your home or business, regardless, we can't remain where we are all the time. So go forward. Send your, send your energy out into the universe that this is what you're searching for. You know, you want to open a new business. You want to meet some new friends, some kindred spirits. Really open that up. That's the treasure that any second that we want, that happiness, that voyage, that discovery is within us. All we have to do is make the choice. I'm going to do this today. I'm going to get on a train and hop to New York. That's probably what I'm going to be doing some point in the next few days because the weather is so nice. I'm like, I want to go to a museum. All, and I go on autopilot when I do that too. I just get the, the full card going and I just get ready for that journey. And I feel like that's what you're going to be doing. So let's see what your messages are. I dug up some old decks. I'm very excited. I love my Colette decks. And, um, I was like, yeah, I was just blessing them and cleansing them. So you have intention. So this is super important in one ring circus that, you know, this can totally be all about you. You don't need other people's inputs. You don't need other people to contribute in this, that you're ready to go, that you can do all this on your own, but you do have to set your intention. What do you want out of today? What do you want out of tomorrow? Let's just start with today because we want to be aware and focused on what we want, right? Okay. Today I would like to keep 
aggravation completely off the menu. I would like to be focused on everything good and that's optimistic around me so I can keep my vibration high. Very simple to do that. You have anybody in your circle at work or anywhere that isn't on a high vibration and you know um, changes the energy not for the better. You simply minimize your time with them and you make yourself aware of that and you stay away from tasks also that are aggravating just for 24 hours because you'll know you are the you are the ringmaster in this you are the one that decides what kind of day you're going to have what kind of mood you're going to have and oftentimes it's what we let into our our three ring circus right if we let um low vibration people if we let gossipy people if we let what we think are our obligations, but they aren't, they're other people asking things of us, you know, keep all that at bay, set your intention. You want to have a wonderful light filled day where you really experience everything to the max. That's easy. Alert your five senses. Say, I really want to smell and taste this food. I really want to enjoy and feel this walk in the wind. And I want to smell the leaves, all nature. If you're by the ocean, that's one of the most saturated scents. Um, sensory rich experiences because you can smell the ocean you can hear it and lots of times you know there's a mist you can feel all those beautiful things set your intention and also ask for the presence of a divine being to be able to feel them seek comfort in all this love the grace and the ever presence vibration of compassion kindness and mercy that all angels in our spirits give us right Know that you are an instrument of peace and love and honor the presence of these great spirits. Because when we invoke guidance, um, we can embrace a sort of peace knowing that all things that don't pertain to us or that we no longer want, we can just release to them, right? We set the intention for a beautiful day, for grace, for quietude, all of that. You also have angel assistance. See, yeah, I felt like this is going to be one of your o overarching themes that when we invoke or ask for angel um, assistance, we feel it right away. I know I do in my car. I feel safe. I ask um, archangels, can you please come help me, keep me safe, um, give me peace of mind and let me become frustrated by other drivers, all this. I feel it. I feel the, like the silvery light that surrounds me, a balanced, calm, and quiet. And we have the choice for that all the time. And when you set your intention for that, that's something that's easily brought into fruition. Your lovely balance, your... Um, focus on all things good. You know, I feel like too, you're very shortly, um, with increasing love, I feel like all these gorgeous little miracles are going to manifest all around you and you're going to start to share and feel unconditional love. And I feel like you are someone who likes to provide service to others and you believe in the power of love and sharing. And with that, you're going to have a lovely extension of just really great feelings and warm attitude towards life. Because again, with Jim Carrey, what he was basically discussing is suffering is optional. You know, pain is a, an eventuality. Things come up. Sometimes people get hurt emotionally or otherwise, but it's the suffering that we choose. Do we want to wallow in that? And you're realizing, no, I don't. There's so many beautiful things available to me that that's not one of the things I want to focus on. So you also have Amelie, which is about curiosity and destiny search. I feel right now you are wondering about your life path purpose and are you in the right vocation and what is really meant for you that's going to provide harmony, love, balance, and passion in your life. Start to write things down. I feel so strongly about that. If you could do anything all day and not get tired of it, what would that thing be? Would it be sketching, writing, music, dog walking, whatever it is, start to write those things down so you can really identify it. Okay, you also have a trante, which is about swathe, embrace, and self-care. Really care for yourself. That means notice what's going on around you. Um, are you giving, giving, giving so much that, you know, you're feeling run down? Stop that and take care of yourself first. If you want to do little self-care rituals too, like a nice bath, um, make sure you're getting in your exercise, that you're packing a really great lunch, that you have time for a manicure, a facial, something that makes you feel good so you can slow down. It's a time for that. It's a time for you. Honest to goodness, I know as a light worker, every once in a while, I'm like, what in the world are you doing? And I'll look at my daily list and eight out of 10 things will be for other people. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You need time for your study. Um, you need time to look into like these. I love the new holistic approaches out there. Um, uh, and also my deck, I'm starting to get going on my deck. I think I'm going to create it as a past life deck because there's so few out there. Things like that 
And you're noticing that you're like, whoa, I don't have time for my beautiful rituals and relaxation because I'm giving so much. It's now time for you and your self-care and you're waking up to that. And because of that, you have time to really address what it is you want. You're curious about your future, your destiny, what kind of people you want to allow into that, what kind of energy you're feeling right now, what really piques your fancy and how to go about it, focus, align with that and move towards it. It's very easy. All you have to do is identify what it is you'd really like to do, visit, understand, and just start taking steps towards it. It's that easy. We complicate things thinking that, um, you know, everything has to be so extra, but that's just our ego. So you're releasing that you're listening to your soul's voice and you're finding the treasure kind of like little breadcrumbs that are left by your angels for you. So lovely energy group one. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Melanie. If you, um, need any further assistance all my links are down below if you want to come see me on instagram it's sparkwist 11 my links down there i do daily posts and meme it is a great extended family over there and i always encourage people to dm me if they have any you know questions about crystals life whatever it's like i'm constantly on there and i like to um, connect with you guys over there so love and light thank you thank you and now we're on to number two which is alchemy right away i'm feeling with this that um you're gonna have the right combination of um mental fortitude to complete tasks so you don't have all those dangling threads everywhere um the the right mixture of where you put your focus and your energy to get quick quick results i feel like you're gonna have quick turnover in the things that you want in business and money and you're able to filter through people and their attributes to see instinctually what it is they really want and if they're good for you if you're a nice match as friends as um you know like little kindred spirits because i feel like some of some of that is coming through that energy i feel like um you know the angels are trying to send you some beautiful earth angel helpers which i've had those and i've been that to people um, i'm often paired with people on shifts at cafes that i used to work at that used to sometimes have problem with depression and i loved the fact that i knew i could spring a little light on that and alleviate some of the pain by you know just naturally um, projecting healing energy and letting them you know really again that suffering is a choice it's all in our mind we decide each day when we wake up it's like a reboot a restart a fresh clean page what are we going to fill that with we're not going to fill it with dire happenings we're not going to fill it with pain we're not going to fill it with an anxiety we're just going to release that and there's so many ways you can go on any any format on the internet and find ways to alleviate this and when you bring those practices in it absolutely works for instance i posted this thing on anxiety um yesterday if you look at five things and really notice them touch three things and really notice them smell two things really smell them all, all of these things, pick up something and taste it and really taste it. That's sensory perception. It's grounding. You're feeling all these things because I feel like some of you might be prone to anxiety that pick this group that, um, you know, this message is for you that sometimes our brain is like a runaway train. I know this, especially if something faulty happens during the day where all of a sudden we have to, you know, stop, leave work and go pick up our kid at school, stop what we're doing and um, go to the doctors or help somebody or do something. And we had a laid out plan, a carefully laid out plan where all of a sudden we're like, oh, all I have in my life is task after task after, you know, whoa, oh my God, that scared me so much. <laughs> My door just flew open and I had this kind of like trellis and it got caught on the trellis. It scared me so much as I scream in the microphone and give you a heart attack. Sometimes when I'm channeling, I'm not quite on like where I should be. So when a loud noise takes place, it freaks me out. So pardon me screaming in the microphone and scaring the shit out of you. So, you know what I mean? We have a choice to say, you know, this is just a minor inconvenience and then we rebalance. Okay. So you have orchid and your message is you're going to flourish, prosper and blossom. You're really going to be able to recognize what is going to work for you and what avenue to take to do this. It's just going to be like a lovely blueprint that spirit is working on with you to help you achieve what you want. And by doing that, it's you're, you're just becoming your original self. You're using all your God given talents. And I feel like a lot of you are healers, light workers, empaths, things like that too. And I feel like a lot of you beautify the world in some way. People feel like you do hair, you do makeup, you do nails, tattoo artists. A lot of you guys really beautify the world and through your originality, your art and what you have to offer, you're really going to blossom. People are going to take notice of this. And because you don't falter in your kind of gorgeous, um, authentic self, 
You can't help but to succeed because the world, nature, everybody loves an authentic gesture and offering, right? There's enough copycats out there. You're just completely, completely yourself, which is really beautiful. I love that. So you also have Pearl, which is about empower, uplift, and elevate. I feel like you not only do this for other people, but you're going to be able to do this for yourself in a really unique way by um, uh, post-it notes, writing things down, saying, you know, you've got this. You you move through the world with ease. You're going to start to feel good, elevated. Your frequency go up because you realize that it's all within you. You know, it's our every single day choice. What am I going to get out of today? What am I going to experience? How can I turn my toes to the sun so I can feel that warmth on my face and know that everything that I need plus some is always going to be provided for me. This beautiful um, alchemy that's coming your way, that's just letting everything unfold. I feel like, you know, your dreams are going to start to really unfold right now. Okay. So I feel too that, um, you're starting to connect your oneness of your heart and mind instead of using all logic and it telling you, you know, Oh, do this, do that. They're connecting. And there's a beautiful way to balance your emotions with your logic and you're going to invite all this beautiful energy feminine to restore your equilibrium you know feeling the energy of compassion and kindness and you're going to feel that given to you as well and that's part of the empowerment you know you're going to be open and receptive you're going to take time to just be you don't feel like you have to accomplish go and do just be you're going to listen really intently um, to yourself and what your needs are and you're going to have a great balanced mental perspective, which is beautiful. And that's sometimes hard to come by in the, you know, the slapdash race of the world right now, right? I also feel like, yeah, change is coming in a really unique and beautiful way for you. I feel like opportunities, I feel like all these doors are opening you. I just see door after door after door, doors to some enlightenment, doors to, um, uh, raising your income doors to opening your focus on where you really want to go with your life path purpose a lot of lot of understanding that wasn't there before and this is part of it yeah I felt like something like this a divine consciousness you're really connecting to this energy that you know what when we live a purpose-driven life which is to just kind of focus on what it is we really want and what provides us with joy. And when we start taking steps in that direction, we tap into that divine consciousness because every single thing, all of our energy is elevated. We start to manifest. We start to feel good. The world is, we feel like the world and universe is providing us with our emotional balance, meeting our needs, um, us feeling fulfilled and good. And then we're able to empower others and reach out and help them as well. And that's more satisfying than anything that I can think of. You know, when you're able to elevate and lift other people out of doldrums and have them recognize their potential as well. So that is beautiful energy group too. Yeah, I just feel like the doors are just flying open. You're ready. You, you have a good understanding what it's like. You're ready to prosper. And I feel like it is your time. You have been provided with these kind of resources that are secretly kind of sneaking in and giving you a really great perspective on things, which I love. So beautiful energy group too. Sorry, I screamed in your face when the door fell open. <laughs> That's so funny. Love and light too. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And all my links are down below. If you need a private read, if you want to check out my Etsy store with all my handcrafted goodies, everything is down there. Thank you, my patrons and all uh, my subscribers. You guys are amazing. Okay, now we're on to Lady Spring. This card to me always speaks of this beautiful time of blossoming, opening up, want to learn, want to understand things, um, really being released from past chains and bonds that we thought were ours. We're no longer feeling rejected or fragile. We feel really good because we have a great perspective on life now. You know, we're going to be persistent and fierce and committed to what it is we want. I absolutely feel that you're doing that. Oh my gosh. And look what you got. You got Audaz, fearless, justified, and resistant. You're going to be resistant to um, anybody trying to derail you or take your focus away from your goals. You are just tenacious and you're justified because this plan that you've set for yourself is something you deserve. This great plan filled with color, love, light, and um, wonderment is all yours because now you're looking at the world sort of with fresh eyes like wow it's always within me i can choose to suffer and feel bad or i can just say proof this inconvenience is over with and now i'm going to be focused on where i really want to go and you're going to start journaling and writing things down having an envisionment board knowing that the process is always starting you know a new process is always starting our growth patterns what we really want where we're going and i love that you got shyella because this is about your creativity opening up you're really having original original spontaneous thoughts and bouts of creativity where you're like 
Today I want to learn how to use ceramics. Today I want to learn to take a cooking course. Today I want to learn about macrame, sewing, knitting. Today I want to learn about needlepoint. It's just these things where you're just like a combustible little um, atom where you're like just going in every direction wanting to seek all this new information and learn all these great things. And I feel like you have a lot of latent skill sets that you're going to be really fabulous at. Like you're not going to believe how good you can really um, hit the ball out of the park with all these things that you're doing. Love, hope, and relationships. I feel too, a lot of you guys are going to be rekindling relationships that have kind of, a, a little bit of the fizzle has gone out and something has happened where the, con the contact and the connection was really strong and everything was hot and heavy and all of a sudden it just seemed to diminish a little bit. It's coming back into focus. There is going to be um, a release of new focus and energy on that and the connection is going to strengthen and be stronger. Sometimes that happens in the ebb of flow of relationships. Um, everything goes hot and heavy. Then there's kind of like a refinement phase and everybody steps back but don't lose hope because it's really it's still there and for some of you this is brand new love just walking through the door where you have actually manifested this through the envisionment process through the law of attraction you have been ready so your wishes desires and hopes I feel like those are the doors opening for you. So start to really define what those are and don't have doubt and don't have impatience. Don't have lack of mentality. Just allow for it to come in because really, I feel like a lot of you that want to start new businesses, you're going to have the finances and the wherewithal to do that for sure. I feel like you're just going to dare do and reach for these things. You have a whole new perspective that when you allow yourself to succeed, you succeed. It's as easy as that. You know? You're know, you going to have a lovely sense of serenity and lightness because you realize life isn't such a struggle. You know, you're going to have a lot of um, beautiful spirit messages that help you too. A lot of victories along the way, you know, no more, no more delays. You have this determination, you had the patience, and now it's all coming through. It's coming to fruition for you. And you feel like um, you're ready. You know, you don't feel like you have to hesitate anymore. It's one of those things where you really are seize the day. You're ready for that. That's going to be your mantra. I feel like you're going to see lots of 1111s. That's going to be your angelic number to help you along the way. A lot of 333s. You really don't have any more um, compunction to delay. You don't feel like failure is is something that's in the in the cards because you're not thinking that way anymore. You're thinking onward, onward and upward. Seriously, you just really have the wherewithal um, with and keen, awesome perspective too. I feel like you're uncovering some knowledge and wisdom that's buried within you too. And you're going to be willing to use these gifts to empower you. That's part of what these latent skills are. You know, you're like messages, dreams brought to you by angels are going to offer you a lot of what you need to. You, you have set a lifetime as a foundation for a happy, successful life now. So you're moving forward and you are ready to transform. Bye-bye suffering, bye-bye ignorance, bye-bye old thought patterns. Now I'm using mindfulness, compassion, and positivity to move forward. You're, and everything's going to be really heightened at this time. Your intuition, your charm, all of that. So use that charisma and go out there because people want to help you on this path too. And you're going to notice that. And it's going to be really um, lifting and wonderful for you because we all need that, you know, a helping hand now and then. So love and light to you. I love that energy for you, group three. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. Isn't that so beautiful? And all my links are down below. If you need a private read or you need any assistance, my Etsy store is down there. Um, my um, Instagram, if you want to come hang over there, Patreon, any, er, any and everything is down there. So love and light to you and get out there and just shine like the sparkly star you are. Great. I'm so excited. I'm going to go upload.